Corollary number three. This law proves that this law is perfect, and it also implies a perfect law maker and a perfect law administrator in this cosmos. Everything is beautifully taken care of by the Lord in this world. So, therefore, let me not worry about improving this world. As Pujya Gurudev used to say, this universe is not a chaos, it is cosmos. Everything is perfect. Give up this idea that I will change this world. Are you don't have to change this world. This world is perfect as it is. If at all you have to change someone, you change yourself. Swamiji, does it mean that is some injustice is happening in front of me and I should close my eyes saying that this world is perfect? No. What it means is, if there is some injustice happening in front of you and if you are capable of stopping that injustice, if you have power, if you have been blessed with the ability, then interfere. If you are not blessed with that ability, then cheerfully accept whatever is happening. If you can change a situation, try to change. But if you are not able to change, you should be able to cheerfully accept that you can't change the situation. That ability one must have. What ability? A situation is there, is a terrible situation and I am in no position to change it. The problem is we keep on complaining and grumbling. Stop that. For example, some politician is corrupt, some politician is eating money. What can you do? No, I can't do anything. If you can't do anything, keep quiet. <laughs> Whatever is happening is perfect. The road is full of potholes and this and that. These politicians are eating money. That may be true. But what can you do? I can't do anything. Then keep quiet. <laughs> you should know where to interfere and you should know where to cheerfully remain silent. The moment you see the imperfection in the society and which you can't change, please don't forget that there is a supreme Lord who is taking care of the world. If he has willed so, that is the right decision. Who am I to question it? If you can practice this, the very same moment your mind will be at peace. The ability to cheerfully accept those things which you can't change. Then what will happen? Your mind will be at peace all the time. What you are capable of changing, try to change it. Those things which you can't change, don't change. This world is a beautiful place for all of us to evolve. And so Bhagawan has created enough opportunities for everyone to commit mistakes suffer and to learn because this is the way to progress this is the way everyone has to evolve we should commit mistake we should suffer and through suffering we become introspective and through introspection we detect our mistake and then we correct our mistake and then we evolve this is how life is so therefore you will find lot of imperfections in the society these imperfections are necessary to become perfect. So whenever you see such imperfection, don't get agitated. Always remember, this world is beautifully run by the laws and there is an omniscient lawmaker and there is an omnipotent law administrator, that is Bhagawan. What is my job? My job is only one thing. Let me keep my mind peaceful, cheerful, noble, divine. This is my responsibility. And as far as this is concerned, I have total control because this is my mind. What I should entertain in my mind, others don't decide. It is I who decide. And that's all what you need to do. Take care of your mind. Keep it as sacred as sanctum sanctorum and once that is done your job is over 
can't we do even this much do that which you can do that's all what bhagwan is saying so what is to be done let the mind be kept divine through divine thoughts let the mind be kept pure noble peaceful cheerful with full of noble thoughts divine thought that's all what you need to do don't take the burden of the entire cosmic function upon your head not necessary unnecessarily don't worry reading newspaper i don't know what will happen to this world so see so many things are happening here there i don't know why are you unnecessarily bothered <laughs> people come together and discuss all unwanted things for us together as a seeker you should put a full stop to such discussions it is meaningless it is worthless it is a waste of time it will just pollute your mind and nothing else there is a big 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 goal to be achieved in life time is precious don't waste in unwanted thing there are so many unwanted things happening in this world don't bother yourself with regard to all this don't get distracted there's a great goal to be achieved and what is that great goal at the time of death remembering god that is a great goal lot of preparation is necessary we don't have time to waste we don't have energy to waste 